Welcome back to the second part of our mini-series on how to inspect weld seams quickly and easily with the Weld Check app for Zeiss Inspect. In the first episode, I showed you how to create weld inspections and set up a project template for recurring inspection tasks. If you haven't seen the first video yet, just pause this one and watch the other one first. Let's now take a detailed look at all the information that was produced by the Weld Check app. <laughs> At the end of the previous video, the software output this label, specifying the selected standard, the quality level, a percentage of sections that passed the inspection, as well as an overall OK or not OK, indicated by green or red color. But this label is only the tip of the iceberg of information generated by the WellCheck app. This one label is based on a large number of calculations performed on each section along the weld C. If we want to take a closer look at those inspections, we can, for example, select an individual section by clicking on it and then click Show Details in the main toolbar of the workspace. The result is a label listing all checks performed on this selected section. The checks are named according to their description in the ISO standard and show the typical nominal, actual and deviation values as well as the colored OK, not OK indication known from Zeiss Inspect. If you are not fully familiar with the check IDs and what they stand for, there's also an alternative label template that comes with the app. To view it, you can right-click the header of the label, go to Choose Visualization and select Weld Check. This will display the same check deviations but add a short text description of what exactly is being checked. And it doesn't stop here. If you select one or multiple of the listed checks using the control key, you can then click show details in the main toolbar again to see the respective inspection elements that were created in order to perform the check. For better visualization, it is probably best to hide the mesh temporarily. This way you can clearly see what's going on at each section of your weld and if and how well they are within the specifications. Once you're done looking at the individual aspects of a section, you can simply select any specific check or the whole curve again, go back to the main toolbar and click Hide Details. This will either just hide the visualization of the individual check or the list of all checks altogether depending on what you selected before clicking Hide Details. You can also click on the empty space surrounding your part and then click Hide Details to hide all details at once. And to take it even one step further, how about creating keyboard shortcuts for Show and Hide Details to get even faster? You can do this via View, Screen Setup, Shortcuts. Simply select one of the buttons from the main toolbar and enter your desired shortcut. I, for example, go with S for Show and H for Hide Details. Works like a charm. Now you know how to see each and every detail of your weld inspections but sometimes that may feel like taking the second step before the first one. What if at first you would simply like to know which of the sections actually caused the overall inspection to fail? You certainly don't want to go through each section one by one to check their details, right? Here's the good news. You don't have to, since this information can again be revealed using the Show Details button. To see only the sections and checks that caused the overall weld to go red, select the percentage of sections passed. In some cases you may have to click twice until you see this specific row of the label marked in grey. Then click on Show Details again. This is the quickest way to find only the problematic areas and have the software output the respective values. Of course, this can also be reversed via the Hide Details button. Finally, the question remains what to do if instead of individual details on individual sections, 
you would like to get a comprehensive overview over all checks on a weld or even over all welds in a project, if you are working in larger projects. Let's start with an overview over all checks performed on one specific weld. For this, you can select the header of the result label and then click Show Details. Since this is meant to reveal all details of each and every section along your weld, the information does not simply pop up in the 3D view. Otherwise, it would usually fill the whole screen with labels. Rather, you can now open the tab Table to see it. There are three different table templates that come with the Weld Check app. You can find them in the drop down on the right side of the tab. The template Weld Check Table will again list each characteristic of each check with its respective ID, a description of the nature of the check, and a deviation. Only this time not for one single section, but for all sections along the whole weld seam. The template Weld Inspection will combine all checks by sections and omit the text descriptions to be able to display more information in less space. The template Weld Inspection Overview is similar to Weld Inspection, but also includes the standard and quality class for each inspected weld. This template is especially useful in larger projects with multiple wells to be inspected. Let me therefore quickly create two additional inspections on the same weld seam. First, I would like to add an inspection with another quality class to our existing weld. This is also a nice opportunity to show you the last of the three initial creation functions. Inspection by existing curve. I select Weld 1 from the drop-down since this is the curve created as the basis for the existing check. I keep all settings the same as before, but choose a different quality level. I will also create a separate inspection of only a part of the weld seam to simulate having a project with many different welds. After the software is done calculating, have a look at the category Tags in the Explorer. Here you can find one tag automatically created per weld. Notice that we have created three inspections but only see two tags, because two of our inspections were created on weld 1. You could drag and drop the tags to show the respective wells in the 3D view, but you can also just use the shortcuts V and I to make them visible or invisible, and thus see multiple tags at the same time. Let's now go to the Table tab for the last time and look at the template Weld Inspection Overview. This is a perfect way to see all of your inspections at one glance, even if your project were to contain dozens of different welds. Each inspection performed on a weld will be listed here with the used standard, class and the percentage of sections that passed the checks. Any weld you select in the table will also get highlighted in the 3D view. On top of that, you can also right-click and select Element Front View to jump to the weld's location. This can be very handy in larger projects. Finally, remember that there was a checkbox in the inspection dialogs that asked whether you wanted to create automatic reports. This is the last great feature I would like to show you. If I unfold the Explorer category report pages, I can now see three reports that the software has created for me automatically. One for each inspection. Now we can look at the report pages. I right-click one of the pages and start the presentation mode. This opens the auto-generated presentation that the software has created for me, showing each and every detail of each inspection, plus a visual to show you where the respective weld is located on your part. A nice and comprehensive overview, and you didn't even have to set up anything yourself. This closes our little two-part mini-series on the Weld Check app. 
We've looked at how to use the dedicated weld check workspace in the Zeiss Inspect software to, first of all, create weld inspections, and second, navigate through various levels of detailed information and inspection results. Lastly, I also showed you that the WellCheck app can automatically create reports for all individual inspections. If you work in the area of welding, I hope you agree that the WellCheck app really is a powerful inspection tool. And most of all, a huge time saver for visual weld inspections. Now, if you want to, head over to the software store and download the WellCheck app and start making your inspection life easier as well. See you next time.